Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today we are going to be designing some sort of Caribbean, African kind of like thing inside of Canva. So if this is something you also want to create, it can be for um, an event like a party, you know, things like that. And the funny thing is most designs like this um, are mostly created in Photoshop and the likes. Okay, and um, this time around, we are coming to do the same inside of canvas so if you want to join me to design this then i'll just say get yourself some popcorn or some drinks so that while we design you know you can be sipping whatever you have next to you okay so yes if you are ready then hold on and i'll be right back after the intro fantastic so the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design and you choose any dimension i have mine open already so i'll just go straight into it and you can see i have my element imported to do this all you need to do is to check the description there's a link in there that should lead you to um, a google drive where i have uploaded all of these elements so just find it there and feel free to use it okay so now that you have all of your elements what you have to do is first of all you add the circle over here okay and the next thing is to click your background and um, we are going to use a yellow okay but we'll do so many interesting things to our background so this is just the beginning we haven't reached anywhere yet at all all right so now that we have this here come into photos if you're on the free version of canva by this time you should know where if you always watch me then by this time you should know where to find um free images from but if you are new to my world of canva tutorials then there's on splash there's pixels i have a whole video on some websites you can find free um photos from okay so you can check that out all right so what i searched initially was um african not come on okay so click here and um type african um woman in bikini that's what i had to search for i haven't made this kind of search before and i found this lady over here okay so the thing is this is a pro image but if you're in the free version of canva like i mentioned earlier please use on splash or any of these free um, stock website to find an image similar to what we are going to use okay so this is what we have and i would just click on effect and we have the background remover we are going to remove the background and as usual if you're on the free version of canva what you need to do is to use remove the dg or you can use stickermu.com slash trees okay and the reason is we want to have you know the freedom to design without having a photo with a background that's why um, we are removing the background okay so you can see our lady is here and i'll just um you know i'll crop her without the legs because i don't want her legs to be in and i'll position her here and maybe i can reduce the circle just a little bit okay so that we can have it here so you can see what we have at the moment let me increase the size of my design here yes. so that we can really see what um we'll be doing okay excellent so we go back into our upload and our upload we are we have several things over here so there's this palm or coconut trees i found okay and we are going to be using it a lot okay so we are going to crop okay we want just this part of it so we are just going to crop that out all right okay and i just crop it this way you can see it wouldn't be perfect okay but um just make sure you are close to perfect and i just put it here and i increase the size of it okay so i crop it more all right okay so this is what i have over here and i'll just rotate it this way and maybe reduce the size small then i will select this leaf okay this leaf i have and i can also crop these leaves out rotate it and make it bigger okay so you can see what we are doing now so i can you know i can even put just rotate the leaves this way and you know in, in this um case 
you can feel free to uh, position them the way you want to okay or if you want to follow the exact thing i'm doing to you are free to do so all right all right okay so i will position my leaves and um i also got this one okay the whole tree so the reason or the idea was also to crop all of these things out okay just the um stock out and i will send it behind so i use control plus my square brackets okay awesome so now you can see what we are trying to do and i can you know, i can even rotate it this way because i don't want people to see this um the stem of the tree okay of the coconut tree so i just rotate it more bring it this way okay and i'll send it backward okay and rotate it more again and i can come here and flip horizontal okay so you see what i did flipping to make the stem go inside so i rotate it more and so you can see where we are getting to so i can reduce this one more so that we can see more of the um the tree behind all right all right okay rotate it more to something like this okay so now the next thing we are going to do to have these um stems over here but we'll use okay let me just take this out at the moment pardon me okay pardon me for that so we have our lady in the center and i really want her to cover most part of it so i would make her bigger okay because i want her to be the center of attraction all right yeah and um i'll crop her up a little bit so that we don't really um, focus on what we have behind okay so this is what we have at the moment and select your you know your musical instrument okay you teach them anyhow you want and you can also send it backward so this would go behind the woman okay or the lady now move it up more and reduce the size okay and we have another one also over here and we're going to do the same but first of all we'll crop it out and we will rotate it this way and we'll send it backward okay so it will also go behind the lady just like what we have right now so you can see this what we have there's one thing i forgot to import or to search for which was a trumpet or a sax is it saxophone i think the name is saxophone so um i'll just search for it quickly saxophone i hope i'm correct in terms of the spelling okay yes i'm correct a saxophone all right all right all right okay so i'll select this one and i will just download it quickly quickly <laughs> okay so it's downloaded so you can see <laughs> i've been downloading all of these things wow <laughs> oh my goodness gracious goodness then click on upload and um select a saxophone saxophonic elementos okay i was trying to speak spanish though, so i hope you liked it all right yeah all right okay so i can position my saxophone you know here it can go behind my leaf or so or it can also um come here so i position it you know just rotate it this way right on top on top oh right on top all right i can make it bigger okay and i can duplicate it i have it here okay and i can send it backward okay but i want to make sure it's positioned well before i send it backward so yeah so now i send it backward 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 okay so you can see what we have and i can even duplicate it and come to flip and flip okay horizontal the same style then we move it to the left okay and we're going to do the same 
backward 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 like this. so this time around i can even let it go behind the drums or it can come in front depending on how you want it to be all right all right let me just tell you something quickly i had a friend okay a female friend and uh, she was saying that she wanted to advise me sort of and she wanted to say don't take um this for granted okay you know we pronounce with a t and she was like you don't take this for granted and how she said it was very funny because we are not used to hearing her speak like that and she wanted to slur using the american accent and it was funny i hope you like my story if you didn't like it to just forget it okay so um yeah what were my okay so i move my drums up a little bit move this one also up so that we can make people see some of the things that are going to happen so i select the entire design and make it smaller a little bit select all again and make sure it's centered okay now the next thing we are going to do is to click on text and add a heading okay and just type tropic okay then you come into the typeface area and we are going to change it so i'll search for script and um, there are so many types so with this i haven't really um decided on what to use but you can see this is looking tropical so i can position it here and um just change the color to white okay yeah but i want something that is sharp you know like a sharp um text okay this is close to what i'm looking for let's see next uh, no there's a big no to this let's see okay this is also close so you can see there are so many of these things you can just um choose and the thing is you are watching me okay on your device so you can just pause and try some of these things out but for me i, do, I don't have that opportunity right now because i'm the one who has to do things quickly so that you can enjoy this tutorial so um i can't really i wish i could really spend time testing um, all these fonts out but you can see i have maldina script and i think this is cool okay it's very very cool then i'll just duplicate it and i'll search for fever okay so f e v e r and i will change it to we have um anton okay so we can try anton this can be a display font all right all right so i will just zoom out a little bit and move my anton down okay so we have something like this and we will send it backward okay or oh, this can even come to the front to so bring to front okay all right then what we are going to do is to come to effect and select the shadow okay and um, what you can just simply do is to change the color to a gray then increase the blurriness of it right so you can see what we are doing increase the blurriness or you can just make it a darker gray instead because i can't really see okay i think this is better all right then with the offset we reduce the offset to something like 39 the offset determines how far or cool the shadow is okay yeah so that's um really about it and um you can see how it's looking the thing is even though we have the shadow we want it we want people to um you know it should be easy for people to you know to read us and so i'll maybe change the color to black okay nice one and the transparency i can increase a little bit okay and then something like this and i can select what's behind and also come to effects okay choose the um shadow and increase the blurriness of the shadow with the transparency okay let me just change the color first to a darker gray so you can see what we have um at the moment then what we'll do is we can you know increase the transparency just a little bit and with the direction i would okay move the direction here to negative five and reduce the offset okay so that the is you know it's, i don't know how to say it but you get it yeah <laughs> all 
all right so let's go back into our approach now we, we are closer to what we want to create inside of canva okay now we are closer but we are not done okay so what we are going to do next is to click on this shadow over here and move it down okay but before we do anything to the shadow select the background color and we are going to move it closer a little bit you know to the orange okay so we have ff9900 this is a perfect color okay then now click on the shadow come to effect go into dual tool now you can click on um your dual tool and double click on it select the highlight make the color yellow come to the shadows and also make the color yellow okay then increase the um how is it called the intensity then right click and send it back okay okay so it's just um something faint we want to add to our design then we apply then i can select it and i would have to wait for uh, my design to save okay oh it means i have to redo it because it didn't save the effect so i come here come to the um, do button again double click change shadows to yellow and change the highlight also to yellow then i apply so i think it's saved okay it's not saved it's not saved yet it's now trying to um to save <laughs> yeah, which is very okay so now that it's saved we can double click okay then i can maybe double click again so that we have something like this okay then i group and right click and send it to the back okay and i can reduce it so that uh, you know just place it be, um, beneath the thing we have over here and i can select my shadow again this time around i would okay this is what we are going to do i wanted to use the shadow for a drop shadow for this for my sagdo phone but what i just remembered was canva now has a shadow effect so click on it come to shadows come to effects okay and in effect we have shadows so you can click on the drop down shadow then you know with the offset and with the angle okay the transparency and the blurriness can be more okay so you can see what we have over here and um what you can even do is you can select whether you want it to the bottom you want it to the top left or you want it to um you know depending on what you want and there are several shadows we have over here okay so you, you have the backdrop okay so maybe we can also try the backdrop so that you can see how you know so you can see what we are doing and the transparency can be a little bit and we'll make it blur okay so this is what we can also do all right all right nice so you can select the sh um, shadows we added okay and duplicate and we can just make the size bigger to position it here right click and send it to the back okay so you can see what we are doing i can also bring it somewhere here okay just right on top okay or if you want you can also send it to the back with this it really depends on um what you want to do and i can duplicate it again okay and maybe position it somewhere here and i can duplicate again bring it somewhere somewhere here right right click send to back right click send to back okay yeah so this is what we have um at the moment okay but we are still not done so i would come to um element now search for wood to see if we would find um a wooden um you know element and the reason is i really really searched i searched so hard but i didn't find um any wooden thing from clip art and all of that so i want to try canva to see if i would find um a wooden design or you know something we can we can easily use since we are not finding it then it means we'll have to use a shape because if we had the wood it would be very interesting okay so um before we do that come to uploads and choose your banana okay and make my design bigger 
rotate my banana and I'll make it smaller okay oh yeah and I'll position it here and reduce the size okay so and I'll just send it if I send it to back it would go behind um, this shadow we place so I'll just send it back 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 backward just behind the circle okay and I duplicate it position it somewhere here and rotate it more back 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 okay duplicate again and i'll rotate it more so you get the whole idea and i send it back 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 okay back again nice one and i bring it here also so maybe i can even send it a bit closer and do the same for this one too okay because it's tropical so there'll be bananas around and we'll flip horizontal and i'll rotate it this way okay and i send it back 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 duplicate move it here rotate it a little bit okay send back 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 and the last one bring it over here rotate it more to something like this okay send it back 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 so you can see what we are doing i think this is looking very 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 interesting okay so i'll select everything and move them up a little bit okay then what i'm going to do select my anton duplicate and make it smaller all right all right then maybe i can put maybe um l classical club okay maybe that's where it's going to that's the venue okay now change the color to no the canva generated some brown colors for us okay so i would reduce the size okay select it and reduce the size all right position it here and canva has generated some colors for us so i'll use any of the brown colors we have over here okay then maybe i can add another text so i press t on my keyboard for text and i would choose montserrat for this one or maybe a quick sand or any of these fonts you want to use so montserrat okay then i can maybe put a telephone number you can put you know just at this point you should feel free to adjust and tweak things the way you want just do things the way you want i would put a website but if you want to put um let's see a telephone number then that's also fine okay so um l color c -co club dot com okay and now you use the size i can even make it bold or i can just choose the monstrat classic for for this one and i would position it here okay and bring it to the bottom a little bit so like this and bring it to the bottom all right so another thing i would want us to do is to maybe add a date okay so i select my l classical duplicate move it to the top select or 8 p.m okay 8 p.m oh i want to i wanted to use all caps or uh, instead i can use the date instead to so 08 12 which means that on the 8th of tw um december i was coming to say on the 8th of 12 huh. i seriously why did i go to school at okay so effect and i'll just take it off all right you know sometimes when i'm having these tutorials i i barely think i barely 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 think like if i realize i'm just talking me, 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 then i'm done hmm. so use this okay i added a shape just in case you didn't see some of you keep saying uh, my sense of humor is too high Thank you. It's a compliment. Sometimes I just feel like I do it too much and I always try to reduce it. 
and while i'm talking you can see that i'm still doing it <laughs> so start s-t-a-r-t-h to so start at 8 or 1 p.m since i press one first so then i do it this way and i reduce the size and i position it here increase the size more wow aren't you happy oh 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 i'll redo that's why there's something called redo it's control y just in case you didn't know just say you mistakenly undo something or you delete something you can just redo it by pressing control y so this is what we 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 have created inside of canva but let me just keep duplicating and right click send to back duplicate again right click send to back okay and yes we have been able to create this thing inside of canva and remember i wanted us to use a wooden shape i think for now it's not really necessary anymore yeah because i wanted to put it somewhere here and just to see maybe like um, african express you know sometimes we just want to be putting something there just to feel good about ourselves but i'm just thinking that we can do something cool we can write jazz express and use let me do it so that you know what i'm talking about so i can change this to jazz night okay then i will change the color to white come to effects use the curved okay rotate it and i'll increase the curviness all right put it, put this um i said put it position it here maybe i'll even just reduce it to you know totally and the curviness should go up up okay so you can see what i am doing <laughs> inside of canva so it can be here if you don't want it you can just stick it off like myself yeah so this is what i wanted to show you inside of canva and i hope you enjoyed it you loved it you were able to breathe it in and out okay so yeah the name is benjamin and thank you so much for tolerating me showing you all my nonsensical look i'll see you in my next tutorial